Hi guys and thank you for watching another episode of Let's Play Close Combat The Longest Day and today's battle is gonna be the return to Brevent and this is a battle that we have pretty much won we just need to, to get rid of the last resistance of the Germans and the Germans are bringing to bear a couple of machine guns they love their bloody machine guns they have a pencil shrek and a gun a gun I'm not worried about and uh, we've got plenty of mortars a 30 uh, caliber MG and we've got an AT gun but I think I'm gonna change that uh, we don't have that much available actually so I might actually use the the gun just for shits and giggles I guess well the bridge has been pounded but it's still up okay let's see where would I be if I were a German now oh, they've lost the town pretty much there are some buildings here mm. I feel like we should get back to the the cluster of houses here and just start from there again because if we would do something different than that I fear we might be overrun and scattered and that's not to our advantage we can move and we can take this area later on there's no need for us to be all over the map so let's just get into the houses get these guys to ambush pretty much down this opening and we have a rival team here <coughs> which we can put here also in defensive mode we have an engineer team let's just uh, whoop, ambush Keep an eye on the road. These trees here are not to our advantage, but we'll deal with that. And now let's get our flanks protected. Go ambush there. Uh, where is where are you? There you are, nicely hidden away. Um, hmm. Yeah. There could be some Germans here. Don't expect that to be, but you never know. We've got a 30 cal, which we could actually, in case we are getting flanked, let's just put these guys up here. Should Jerry be here and move up, then that 30 cal is definitely not a good surprise for them and we've got one HQ left let's put that hmm yes where, where where should we put that I guess we can put that here and let's just sneak across the road And then we have two units here. We have a platoon HQ and a rifle team. So many units. And what can we do? Oh. Let's get some crossfire here. Anything moving in, in between here will be dead. And these guys can defend or at least ambush this bit there's nobody c 
coming through this town alive. And we still have the AT gun. Well, the problem is line of sight. There's not much except for the road. Let's see how good this is. This is actually not, it's not amazingly. Amazingly, that's not correct. It's not amazing. So let's put it here. It, a line of sight also means that it can take fire, but there's a pretty decent arch here. And let's just put these guys on the vent. Don't want these guys ambushing because that would probably mean that they wait until they have a sure shot and the result would be that somebody takes a lucky shot and they blow it up and it's too costly to get blown up now let's get these mortars clustered here and begin no enemy spotted it is right now dead quiet which means that we might actually enemy spotted, <laughs> spotted. alright let's give them a mortar breakfast oh look there are quite a few Boom. They're actually moving fast. That's uh All right. Got an ambush road. There's something firing from there. Of course, my gun is firing, which is also an old, so very, very nice. They are spotted, so they're zeroed in. Don't think my... The, the gun is somewhere here. We are not seeing it, but it's somewhere around here or here. Might actually be taking pot shots at my. Yes, I think it's taking pot shots at the AT gun. Ah, did we destroy it? Yeah. <laughs> ah, lucky me. Well, come on. Oh, shit. That was my gun. Uh, I think they use their uh, mortar to air. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, we lost the gun. They think they have a chance. Good. Come on, let's. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Let's just lob those things. Uh, are we out of? I think we are out of mortar ammo. These guys still have something. But that's moving too fast right now. Uh, yeah, they should be feeling this. Uh, these guys are done deploying. I think we can actually just move them instead of sneaking. Get the whole flank secured. You know something? Defense. No defense. Just destroy them. Uh, 
Well, that's that for the function Yagas MG. They won't be going home to Molly. Now oh, out of ammo, that's that's just too bad. A lot of them. Can we if we'd like to move fast? Move fast. Try and flank them. Just a tad. You know, all here bunched up around the road. Put some pressure on these fuckers. Those guys are slowly moving. We got this MG team here. But we actually do don't want them to spot. It's right there. Oh, come on. I don't think I've got support elements on this map. So no barrage or bombardment uh, we call it streak we've got a casualty trees here and they just keep pouring out there comes the MG42 that's funny MG42 versus a 30 cal I think I'm gonna win that just by sheer awesomeness of caliber can you like fire upon that Yes, you can. Good. Well, it's slowed down a bit. So they're not moving up and I'm not moving forward. And I will be need needing to move forward. Do I want to have an absolute victory? They're not dying as fast as I want them to. Yeah, enemy spotted. Good. Can you fire upon that enemy? Not really. No, not really. What they might actually do... assumption that there is nobody here they are have been spotted but there's nothing more than a few pop shots no come on come on move 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 Come on. Exactly. Loud into smithereen. We can actually give some support there. Alright. Uh, 
Let's look at these guys. Let's get them up. Let's write it down. These guys are busy with their flanking moves. strike so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop them right on these guys and hopefully it will take out that was far less effective than I had hoped it would be and G team will sneak up here these bastards sneaking back like I wouldn't notice can you fire up on them? yes you can one guy running guys into a bit of a nasty situation. Come on. guys just charge just these guys of course gonna just scare the shit out of them but these are volunteer yagas so they're not uh, the uh, newest of the troops got experience and they've got training and they are disciplined but Americans are not I might be sacrificing quite a bit of man here but you found guys fire on these fuckers if they can move up keep them busy Fuck that, come on, get back here. in there not something I would recommend but Let's see if we can break morale a bit Is 
guess I won't like this. <laughs> well, it has an effect. I mean, offering ceasefire, that's fine. Ah, total allied victory. That was actually closer than I liked it to be. It definitely, yeah, I lost the gun, they lost the gun. Great. They lost five officers. We lost five officers. They lost 14 infantry. We nine. They had quite a few more casualties. But other than that, it was actually pretty close. It was the weird uh, Geronimo style attacks that did it. I still remember that one. For now, thank you for watching.